back to our channel. So today, as you can see, I am getting into the Christmas spirit. Decided to have the Christmas tree behind me, just so it's a little bit more festive as it's only next week. So in today's video, I will be showing you guys on how to distress and bleach a t-shirt. These t-shirts right here, I did a tester, as you can see, and I really, really like how it turned out. These t-shirts are really, really popular and in at the moment. If you want to get a legit one, they sell for over $100. And I personally think that's a little bit too much for a t-shirt that's just been bleached and cut up. Like you're literally just buying a ruined top. I think Biggie wants to say hi. Hello. Hi guys. My name's Biggie. The top that I will be doing it on is this one right here. Shameless plug, you can get this from www.cocaine.com.au I'm just going to change it up a little bit and make it suit to what's in right now So I'm going to be putting a few holes in it, I'm going to just like make it more rough looking If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, comment below and make sure you subscribe to us We're so close to getting to 5,000 subscribers, thank you to everyone that has subscribed Thank you to our followers that have been with us from the start and all our new ones. Welcome to our channel. Now let's get to the video. So the materials that you're going to need are, of course, the t-shirt right here, a pair of scissors, some sandpaper, some bleach, a spray bottle, and you can use old ones that had like hairspray in it or just anything like that. Just has to have this spray nozzle here. And last but not least, a paintbrush with a cup. Starting with the neckline, you're going to use your sandpaper and rub it against the fabric. I find that using sandpaper instead of scissors creates a more natural look. As you can see, I'm also using my two fingers to pull on the fabric to stretch it out even more. Continue creating holes along the hemline and don't forget to do the back of your shirt. Continue rubbing until you get the whole size that you want. Using the sandpaper will also help make heaps of little holes around, which is totally what you want. The next step is to get your bleach and pour it into a spray bottle. Lightly spray the bleach onto your shirt in the areas you want to get lighter. As you can see, I'm covering the white cocaine print. This is because you want to keep it intact without any bleach going onto it. It will take a couple of minutes for the bleach to start working, so just be patient. Now for the shoulders. As you can see, there is a distinct line here. You don't want this as you want it to look natural, so using your bleach, just spray around this area to blend it in a little bit. Now with the paintbrush, dip it into some bleach and start spluttering. This will create little dots around your shirt, which I think looks really, really cool. The last step is to rinse it in cold water to stop activating the bleach. As you can see, I got a little bit too excited and went a little overboard with the bleach, so don't overdo it like I did. Anyways guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you found it really helpful. If you're going to try this yourself, make sure you tag us on Instagram or Facebook. It's just how you feel. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, comment below. We reply back to pretty much every single comment. We love to hear your feedback and I'll speak to you next time. Bye guys. Thanks for watching our video guys. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. It looks like this. You guys don't know what it looks like. Subscribe button will be under here, anywhere around here. Just click anywhere around here. And if you haven't watched our previous video, our vi previous video will be over here. Japan, how to bid on things in Japan, and also things off Facebook. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment below. Let's start the video. <sighs> Alright guys, so the first thing you want to do 